Okay, so first and foremost, you want to come and turn off your corresponding breaker. In my case, I have only one line that connects both, um, both the fan and the light. So if you have two different lines, you need to identify and turn off two breakers, but in my case, only one breaker. First, turn it off, cut off the circuit, the current, you don't want to be, you know, okay, so see you then. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna we remove this, and this is my light uh, for the, the switch for the light. Okay, no power, and the fan, no power. It has three cables: black, black, and ground. Same thing over here. So we're gonna connect all these on this one, which has a uh, which is a, a sensor. It has a sensor, and then this is a dual okay switch inside. So. Just watch next. So when you look at the instruction, all we have to do is that the two black we have over here on the top, okay? The two black we have on the top, I'm gonna connect e either one, doesn't really matter. Either one, I'm gonna connect to the first, okay? Black and black. And then the second one, okay? I'm gonna also connect to the second one, black and black. And I will connect all those, okay, the green wire and the bare wire to both of the ground wire. So I connect both, all of them together. I put them at once and I will tie them up. So I will show you once it is done. And then if like me, you have uh, this uh, uh, quick connect that they did, okay, all you do is you put your, uh, a screwdriver, a flat one, a little one, you put inside, you push strong enough, you can pull down your wire. So I'm gonna push again, strong again, kind of tricky. There you go. So you got to push strong enough to be able to pull out your wires. So for the sake of uh, knowing later on, I just make made some uh, tape Okay, I will tape both for the light, light, light switch and also tape for the exhaust fan. You can do so for later on. That would be helpful. Okay, so I label them. This for the light switch and this also the ground for the light switch and then the ground for the fan and the ground, uh, the um, power cable for the, for the fan. So they all label and they will, they will help later on. Eventually, if there is need for changing or separating both of them. So in this case here, all you got to do, you take, I'm going to put the light on the top. Okay, so you take any of the, any of the, of the black, you can connect to any of, any of the, those two, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take the first one, you align them both together. Okay, and then you use your knot that came with and then you twist it until you feel a very strong and good resistance okay so i pull on it it's very secured very good to do the same thing for all of them okay when i say all of them is that they are separated the still black for the light switch they are separated the black and orange for the fan they're also separated you don't mix any of them. So you have to pay attention and be careful not to mix any and not to cross any cable. The only thing that is being to be crossed will be those two ground that will be put all together. But the black one, you don't cross them at all. Okay, so it's all done. Pay attention to the wiring. Here I have the two black coming from the top for the switch one, the circuit one, okay, the tap one to be on the light. Okay, separated on the light tap two on the fan. Now I'm gonna use this one, okay? I will join it with uh, the the bare one that comes from them, so both the bare one and that green one. And I will join all them together to both ground, that way, separated. I will join all four together, okay. Okay, so all four ground are together as, as one, the two for the fan together and the two for the light together, okay? 
So I'm gonna push everything inside and we're going to next step. Okay, so here we have our switch installed. And I bought this one for about four dollars on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link so they are really good together very well. Okay, so that uh, here can be hidden properly. So now I'm gonna set up the system over here on how I want it to be. Be right back. Okay, so as soon as uh, as soon as I restore the power, you can hear the fan actually going. That's because once it's connected, when the power is connected, like restored, it takes up to two minutes before the unit becomes fully functional. So we're gonna wait two minutes, and then we're gonna see how we go next. I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so now the light came on all alone, and I'm gonna now push it. Light off, fan off. So it takes about two minutes for the the switch to be functional so if you turn on the power and you see that the things are on not going you know well or whatever you have to wait okay you're gonna work out so i'm turn off I'm turning on the power the the light there you go i have the light and the the fan so we have the fan so they work fine they all come off together nicely so we're gonna now, if you want to set up, make custom settings, uh, you need to do it before you put the plate on. So in my case, I'm gonna uh, make the custom settings. I have a video that I already done how to do the custom settings. I'm gonna put the link in the description, but it's quite the same principle. So when I want my light to turn off after the place is uh, empty, I will want it for five minutes. So I will hold the button for the light, the tap for the light, until the, the light flashes at least three times, okay? One time, that will be only for test mode. Two times, that will be for one minute. And then three times, that will be for five minutes. Uh, four times, it will be 15. And 30 a minute will be five times. So as I said, I have a link in the, in the description with I already did a video I already did but I'm just gonna show you with this one how it goes quickly so you press and you hold on one two light and three flash I leave it that will be five minutes after the place is empty okay so now I'm gonna set this one Okay, this is the light. I'm gonna set the light to be auto on, auto off. So as soon as somebody come in, turn light on, and then turn light off when there's nobody. But on the sensor, I will set it on manual on. So ha somebody has to push it. And then when there's nobody, it will be automatically off after a certain amount of time. So for it to be auto on, on the first one, I will hold it for one light flashlight there you go I release it and then this one I will hold it for two flashlight one two then you go so this is on manual you can hear the fan turn off the fan and this will be automatic so um, I hope the video helped you other than that as I said I already made a uh, similar video only for the custom settings okay in the video um, one thing you can do also if you want for, for instance the sensitivity how you want it to be detected this one doesn't work with that okay you have to use the bottom for setting up your sensitivity so there is something here which is a quite different. So where you have the Lutron, that's the one, the one on the bottom that has to be used in order to set up the sensitivity. So I'm gonna use this one both together. One, two, and I release. That's on high. Okay, so this and this, that's what you use to set up your sensitivity on how you want it to detect on the on high or low flashes one 
is low, flushes twice, is high, flushes three times, that's to reset everything. So that's about it. And then uh, once you're done, you just put your plate back and you're done. Okay, that's about all. I'm gonna clean here a little bit, put some uh, paint to blend a little more. And uh, that's about all. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.